So hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Auto. So this is just a follow-up video on my uh, recent video I made about upgrading the headlight bulbs where I put these uh, Osram Nightbreaker bulbs in this MG ZS EV. And in the original video, I did want to show some driving examples to hopefully show the difference between the old bulbs and the new bulbs. However, I don't have uh, camera mounts or have the ability to film while I'm driving. However, I've just realised last night, of course, I've got a dash cam and I completely forgot about that. So the whole point of this video is to show you some dash cam footage. Hopefully I've still got some and it hasn't been overwritten of uh, driving with the original bulbs on. But I'm going to down download all the footage and see if I can do a side by side comparison of old bulbs versus new bulbs. And as I said before, the difference is absolutely huge. I've used these sort of high performance upgraded bulbs in six, seven, eight cars before, but I've never seen such a difference as I did in this MG ZS EV. Uh, as I said before, the the uh, throw of light on the road with the new bolts was a, a good twice as far. It was just huge, um, and I've never seen that before. So I hope the uh, dash cam footage does reflect that and it is picking that up. But if it isn't, then obviously you just have to take my word for it. And it's an upgrade that I think mg owners if you're still running on the original halogens then i really think it's worth the money and you should consider it i had a lot of uh, comments on the original video saying well that's ridiculous i'm not going to spend 30 quid on bulbs if they keep failing so i've uh, i've used these sort of bulbs before probably in six seven or eight cars before and what i found is uh, i've often had to replace a bulb after 12 months to 18 months i've never had a car where i've had to replace both bulbs but then I've probably never kept cars long enough. But what I'm finding is these more uh, higher output bulbs, obviously they have a, um, a different filament and they're producing more light out of a, a coiled wire, the filament, so they're going to be more fragile. Um, you don't get something for nothing. Uh, but I find that generally um, I've had to change one bulb in 12 months to 18 months. Um, so a bulb is about 13 to 14 pounds. Uh, in my mind, for the difference that makes on this car, it's just huge. And if I've got to uh, spend 13, 14 pounds every year to 18 months, then yeah, I'm happy to spend that. Um, you know, normal bulbs fail as well. I know they are more robust, but uh, you know, the, the difference of these is just absolutely vast. And um, it just, it's a huge safety um, improvement. And uh, I'm driving quite a bit at night and yeah it's a small price to pay in my mind for such a transformation of the headlights on this car. I'll put the link to these on Amazon below again in the comments and uh, the MG3 uses HP3 bulbs um, but uh, the same bulbs also available uh, in other sizes for other cars like H4s and H7s for example but it's all on the same link.